Hey everybody, we just got back from the busiest yard sale Saturday of the season so far. I want to take a look and show you everything I found. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so the pickups this week were hit or miss. Um, not a lot of quantity, but a lot of quality. Uh, Friday thrifting, uh, my local Goodwills have just become an absolute joke. Uh, they won't put anything of value out uh, on the floor. They just send it straight to the auction house. So I still go, I just don't find anything. So the only shot I've got at actually doing well is another little mom and pop thrift store, uh, which I go to on Friday, which didn't have anything this week. But Saturday, yard sale day, busiest yard sale day of the year so far. Um, so many I couldn't even get to them all uh, before I ran out of time because my wife is away on vacation and I had to take care of our dogs. <clears throat> so what you see before you here um, is what I picked up this week and it's a pretty decent lot. Um, we're going to start over here with the first yard sale that we went to. Um, for those of you who say you can't find video games uh, in 2023, you're absolutely flat out wrong. I picked up this Game Boy, the OG, and it's in really good shape, um, plus all of these games uh, for $10. Um, there is Super Mario Land, Solar Striker, Mortal Kombat 2, Double Dragon, uh, Tetris, Jeopardy, Baseball, and F1 Race. Not a lot to write home about. Um, probably $70, $80 in value, uh, but also the manuals. Uh, manuals sell separately for probably on some of these just as much as the cartridges do. Uh, so I should between I should be able to profit between 70, 80 bucks on that purchase. Um, there was also a uh, four player adapter for the Game Boy Color, or excuse me, for the Game Boy Original. Uh, there's the Game Boy Light. It's missing a battery cover, but I could probably still move that. Uh, link cable, the original manuals. So I was in about ten dollars on that one. Uh, so I did about probably 70, 80 bucks in profit on that. Um, Next up, I went to the next yard sale. I found these uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Christmas stockings. Uh, I passed on them originally, but I went back to the car and checked the prices. And I'm like, yeah, I paid a dollar for each one of these. Um, and they should net me between $30 to $50 a piece. Um, I wish she had the other two, but she didn't. They were the only two that she had. So, so up right now, we're looking at about $100, maybe $120 in profit. That'll come into play here in a minute. I want you to check this out. The next yard sale I went to, uh, I picked up this Pac-Man plug and play uh, for 50 cents. Uh, sells for about $14, $12, $14. Um, but I don't like dealing in change. So one of the things I advise people is if you see something for 50 cents, find something else you can buy for 50 cents uh, so that you make a dollar, you spend a dollar. So I picked up this catchphrase. Um, this is uh, on one of the original catchphrases. Um, paid 50 cents for this. I said, you got 50 cents on this. Would you do a dollar for both? He said, sure. Um, this also sells for about twelve to thirteen dollars, so a dollar in, another twenty to thirty dollars profit on those two things right there. So this next lot, this is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, not everything you do is going to be a, a win. Uh, some things are going to be educational. Some you're going to lose money. Um, this lot over here um, is a bunch of toys. Uh, you know, I've been on a GI Joe kick lately, and I've done really well with GI Joes. Well, I saw a GI Joe figure. Uh, in this particular lot. The guy had them bagged up and was selling them by the bag. $3 for this bag, $4 for this bag. I tried to buy the whole lot. He wanted too much money, so I picked out the two bags that I thought would have some value. Uh, paid $5 for the box or for the two bags. And what you see on the table here um, is pretty much the only thing that was in there of any value. And even this value is questionable. So what I'm going to do... Uh, because I knew earlier in the day I had made money on the Game Boys, I had made money on the stockings, uh, I could take a little bit more of a risk, so that was why even $5 is not a risk, but I don't like to lose any money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lot these up, and I'm going to start learning a little bit more about eBay auctions and how to do eBay auctions. People shop on eBay on Sundays. Sundays are my busiest day when it comes to eBay sales. So if I can time an auction to end on a Sunday, it may do better. So this is going to be like a, an educational expense. Um, so what you can see is I've got a lot of uh, Fortnite figures. I've got a lot of uh, My Little Pony figures, both the big ones and the little ones. Just a bunch of random stuff. Uh, but I've broken it up into categories and I'm going to list the lot as 
an auction on eBay. I should be able to get my $5 back whenever I do an auction. I always started at 99 cents and then add shipping on top of that, usually three to $4 because most of this is really light. Uh, and I put them in a very small box so I can ship most of this and do $3.99 shipping on each auction, which should pretty much cover the shipping. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stagger them so that they end on different days and kind of test which days are best to end an auction on. So that's it, not a lot of quantity, a lot of quality. Um, video games, again, I'm finding them still. They're harder to find, but they are findable. Um, so overall, I think I did really well this week. That's it, guys. That's all I've got. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'm going to try and do one of these every week when I get done with my yard sales. Um, and take a look at some of the fun things that I find, and maybe it can help you get started as well. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll talk to you next week. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>